Hello viewers, today for initial checkout we have an AT&T telephone. This is a DEC 6 model and the model number is EL52200. It's not really a model number because it has numbers and letters so it's more so a model string of characters. Anyways, uh, here's the informations. Six volts. Unfortunately, it's made in the China, and it requires a wall mount bracket in order to hang on the wall. Now let's plug the phone line in. Now these were pretty good telephones. This model sold quite a bit, and a lot of people that used them seemed to hold on to them for a while. The predecessor of this model was the one that had more of a uh, kind of vertical type base. Oh, this one's kind of vertical too, but the, the base was more vertical. The handset, the buttons were kind of like all one thing, and they were, I you know how to describe it, they weren't, uh, they were kind of flat and large, and uh, the base had the antenna on the side, and that was a really good set. And I thought that this one would have the same operation system as that set, but it doesn't. This has the newer one that's kind of like slow. You know, if you press the buttons real quick, it doesn't even uh, keep up with the key tones. And You know, this operating system is okay. I just like the other one better because this one, you know, being so slow and laggy like that, kind of doesn't give it a very good user experience. The other one that's quick, it kind of gives it like a powerful feel. So anyways, um, I'm going to set the time so that zero stops flashing. It is, uh, let's see, oh, eight, I think it's the 11th. And the time is 7.28 in the p.m. Okay. So, let's begin by calling it up. Oh, that's unusual. Looks like somebody changed the ring at some point. And it stopped. Okay, am I not using the thing right? That in-use light did turn off and is now flickering with the ring. Okay, there appears to be no base ringer or it's just off. Only was up to five, that's not terribly loud. That goes really quiet. Two of these tones are, are pretty classic. This one. Actually, that one is too. And that one. This one. And that one sound very different than the older models that had those ringtones. Go with that ringer for the video. Um, let's see what we have here. Huh? That's outrageous. 
How many rings is it set to? Let's call it up and listen to that awful greeting. message for an awful greeting. <laughs> you have one message. Okay, well, you have it. messages. Okay, let's get rid of that awful greeting. Or announcement as this calls it. To record, press seven. Delete. Okay. Now let's call it again and we'll actually let's turn the call screening off first. We don't have another freak show. Two, three, testing, testing. Over and out. You have one new message and one old message. Wednesday, 12, 14 a.m. One, two, three, testing, testing. Over and out. Messages. Okay, that sounded pretty good. I'll record a custom announcement on here. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Record after the tone. Press 5 when you are done. Hello, you've reached the hardware store. If you're looking for a nice turkey dinner, you've called the wrong place. Hello, you've reached the hardware store. If you're looking for a nice turkey dinner, you've called the wrong place. I think I was speaking a little too close to the microphone. Let's try it with speaker off. Hello, you've reached the hardware store. If you're looking for a nice turkey dinner, donuts, or blocks of cheese, you've called the wrong place. Looking for a nice turkey dinner, donuts, or blocks of cheese, you've called the wrong place. That actually seems to sound quite clear. 
All right, let's call it a beginning lesson to that greeting, or the announcement, as AT&T likes to call it. I really am impressed by the audio quality of this answering machine. At least on the outgoing end, it sounds like it's very clear. You have one new message and two old messages. Wednesday, 12, 17 a.m. I really am impressed by the audio quality of the fancy machine, at least on the outgoing end. It sounds like it's very clear. Inbound messages. Well, that certainly didn't seem like it was anything to write home about at all. To plane, press to Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want to play the messages, here we go. You have three old messages. Wednesday, 12, 11 a.m. Message deleted. Wednesday, 12, 17 a.m. I really am impressed by the audio quality of the fancy machine, at least on the outgoing end. It sounds like it's very clear. Out messages. Does this have the memo feature? There it is. Record after the tone. Press 5 when you are done. The memo feature is hidden deeper within the menu than I think it should be. Recorded. That didn't sound too bad. That sounded clearer than the uh, message recorded from the phone did. Okay, let's record a testing message from this telephone. This is a testing message from the speakerphone speaking at a moderate volume with the handset on the table but it won't stand up because of the carpet. Now I'm speaking very closely. I'm going to pause the video for a moment. Yeah. 
have it near your person while you're speaking. I just turned the speakerphone off and I'm speaking at the same distance away from the telephone. It probably sounds much clearer than it did before. Now I'm going to keep the handset further away once it's still on the phone mode. Now it's on the speakerphone at the same distance. And since this distance is far enough away, it probably sounds okay. I'm going to conclude this testing message now. End of messages. Okay, so that goes to show that the speakerphone probably could have a better automatic gain control and, and not overload and distort like that you know, when you're closer to it, but in the most typical use cases, you wouldn't speak closely to a speakerphone anyways. So that appears to be working on the outgoing side. Let's switch over to the mains and we'll make an outside call. We're going to call the Farmer Jones cold line. The field with the update for the week of August the 10th. We have completed the 2020 blueberry season. Appreciate all who helped make it a success following the COVID guidelines and enjoying the healthy That sounds experience. pretty good. And uh, power back. Uh, please check the It's got quite a volume range to it. For the rest of the summer, the winery and a simplified uh, farm market are open on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Closed to Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, the uh, winery is open. It's uh, 11 to 6 on those four days. The uh, market in the Christmas. Uh, wine by the bottle, available farm jams and honey. No reservation needed. The winery uh, for wine by the glass, we do. Okay, that's working and that sounds pretty good as well. So it looks like that checks out. Now let's take a look at the uh, caller ID log, or I'll take a look at it. Now let's see how many calls it got. Okay, so the log starts on uh, 310, there's a call at 615, a call at 454, 444, 416, 415, 353, 316, 201, 117. Wow, this gets a lot of calls. This got a lot of calls. Every day is like that. Several calls an hour. Wow. As far as this phone isn't more worn out than it is. Now, one of the things that I find annoying about this phone, which is really, really slow, is the caller ID log. I'm going to open it up here. I'm going to go to the next entry. And notice how long it takes for the time to refresh. It's quite a delay. Phone book is empty. And again, it takes forever to, to notate that. <coughs> So let's see if all the buttons are working. Let's go ahead and check the numbers. Okay, 
Okay, all the numbers are working. Oh, I guess this would have been a two handset system at some point. I don't have the other handset, it only came to me with one handset. Okay, so the handset seems good. Let's take a look at the base. It's very dim. But that may just be how it's supposed to be. Calls will not be answered. You have to delete all old messages. Press delete again. All old messages deleted. It's got a good volume to it. Okay, that seems to check out good. What's going on there? Um, it's pretty dirty, so we're gonna have to get this cleaned up. But I think it'll clean up pretty good. AT&T.